Hey friends, welcome back to my channel once again. The 41-year-old has the most chances at Grammy Gold with nine nominations following the release of Renaissance, her rich layered ode to club music. She's a powerhouse contender for the night's major awards, but the same goes for British balladeer Adele, whose introspective ode to the ugly cry 30 earned her seven nods. The face-off has prompted obvious comparisons to 2017, when Adele swept the top prizes at the glizzy music biz gala, shutting out queen-based culture shaking lemonade. Six years later, Beyoncé has continued to make history as the Grammy's winningest woman with four more victories on Sunday. She could overtake classical conductor Cork Salty for the most victories by any artist. When it comes to the Big Three Awards, Best Album, Best Record and the Best Song, Beyoncé curiously remains something of an underdog. She has never won Album of the Year honors and although she has the most Record of the Year nods with eight, she's never won that prize either. She only scored Song of the Year once for 2008 single ladies, but industry watchers including Billboard predict this will finally be Beyoncé's year to take home the Grammy for Album of the Year, arguably the night's most prestigious prize. I sure hope so because doesn't she deserve it? Nile Rogers, the co-founder of the band Chic, who is credited with contributions on Renaissance, told AFP Rogers the Supremes Nirvana and others will receive a Lifetime Achievement Award from the Recording Academy at Sunday Ceremony. She's arguably the most culturally important artist in the world. Marik, the music publishing mogul who was once Beyonce's manager, chimed in at a pre-Grammy gala. It's the first time an entirely Spanish-language album has a chance at that coveted award, and it's the first time the Puerto Rican Bridgerton megastar has landed a solo nomination in the major Grammy categories. So guys, if you are liking our videos, do subscribe and comment.